Hello, as your doctors, we have an important message. We are here for you. We are not strangers. We are your friends, your neighbors. We are your doctors. COVID-19 has changed. It has become more aggressive, contagious, and deadly. I've been doing infectious diseases for the past 15 years and never seen anything of such kind as this infectious disease called COVID-19, SARS-CoV-2, being the virus that causes it. One of the most common problems that I see with this current pandemic is people thinking that it won't affect them, that it's not gonna hit home for them and their family. This is not what we were seeing before in the fall and spring of earlier this year. This is affecting people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. People that are my age and younger that I'm having to watch their family fall apart as they're dying. COVID-19, this is not natural. And these vulnerable people, our patients, should not be dying. In these cases, vulnerability has no age group. We are seeing more uh, kids getting admitted with um, COVID in this wave compared to the last wave. 80% of the people right now who are admitted to the hospital are unvaccinated. That's only 20%. There's some people who are vaccinated will get the disease, but most of what we're seeing now is unvaccinated patients. And, and people have their feelings. They don't want to get vaccinated for one reason or the other, but I'm telling you that, that you've got to believe me when I tell you that this is an awful disease. It's not just a common cold. It's not just another, another virus. People are sick and they're dying and we can't do a whole lot of, we can't, sometimes we can't do a whole lot for them. We can support them, we can try to make things better, but this is, a, this is bad. And people need to understand how bad it is and how bad it is in our community here. Uh, we're tired. Uh, this is the worst part of the pandemic that we've seen. Um, although the numbers are lower than they were in January, we have significantly less support from the state which limits our ability to care for both those with COVID and patients without COVID. The situation is dire and the solution is simple. It's vaccination. Vaccine does work. It's safe. It's been tested. It's been authorized after more than 40,000 patients on each vaccine tested. There is three options for the vaccines. And this vaccine, even if they're not gonna protect 100%, they're gonna alleviate the symptom. The difference between a vaccinated and non-vaccinated is brushing the COVID as a common cold versus ended up in ICU intubated and dead. My request uh, for all parents and the public in general is to uh, get vaccinated because uh, it's tested. I mean, uh, we know that it works. Uh, apart from vaccines, masking also helps. During the previous surge, we all did what we had to do which was not, we didn't have vaccines available, but we were able to mitigate the transmission by using masks. There is evidence that masks stop transmission of viruses, and not just by the wearer, but also the other person who is in front of you and is wearing, and the other persons around you that are wearing the mask. That's the way it works. That's the way it helps. You need to think twice before you say, I don't want to have something done. I don't believe in the vaccines. I don't, I don't want to do this. We're trying to take care of you. We need you to take care of you also. Our priority is your health. We are here for you. Please, if you have any doubts or questions, do not hesitate to give us a call.